My name is Miki Aoki, and today I'm very happy to announce that on September 20th, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, our Music in the Air is bringing you our second concert featuring works by Beethoven. This year we're celebrating the 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth, and uh, as you know, there were so many events uh, scheduled around the world to celebrate this special year. But unfortunately, due to the pandemic, most of these events did not take place. So we are very uh, lucky uh, that we can bring you at least a very small selection of these great works by Beethoven to you in this concert. We are also extremely grateful to Tarizio New York for letting us use their beautiful space to do this concert. Uh, we wore masks and we, you know we did it very safely uh, but it was just such a touching experience to be able to make chamber music uh, performance in the same room again so thank you so about the full works uh, that we picked for this concert uh, there's a piano sonata violin sonata cello sonata and a piano trio and due to the time of the concert, unfortunately, we had to select movements from some of these works. Um, and why these four works? So, uh, Heideggenstadt Testament uh, was written in 1802 by Beethoven himself. And all four works are written either before or after, shortly before or shortly after this testament was written. This testament uh, was written in Heiligenstadt, uh, just outside Vienna, in a small village where uh, Beethoven was somewhat recovering. Uh, he was not doing well. Uh, by this point, uh, he uh, had to come to terms with the fact that he, his hearing was not going to ever get better and he was clearly losing his hearing and he had considered suicide. It was a very difficult time for him. Also, uh, he uh, confesses in this testament that he had already noticed for about six years by that point that he was losing his hearing. Um, so the piano sonata of 27 number one was written in 1801, which is just a year before the testament. And the cello sonata opus five number two was written in 1796. So this is also just a few years before the testament. It will be around the time that Beethoven started noticing that he was losing his hearing. And then the violin sonata number 10 Kreutzer was written in 1803, which is just a year after uh, the testament was written. And then the ghost trio was written in 19, uh, sorry, 1807. So uh, you can see that Indeed, you know, these works uh, were written either before or after, very closely to, uh, related to this testament. And we'd love to um, you know, share this uh, with our audience and see how you will uh, maybe hear the, the development in his music, uh, changing his music after he had this breakthrough with this testament. Because uh, the testament was uh, kind of a breakthrough for himself to decide to live despite uh, the deafness and choosing to live for the music and the arts uh, and not choosing suicide. So um, I hope you enjoy our program and we are also thrilled to let you know that uh, for our pre-concert talk at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time on the same day uh, Professor David Lawton will be coming to give uh, a talk about all of these four pieces in details. Uh, professor Lawton retired about two years ago. He was a professor at Stony Brook University Department of Music. And we are just so excited to have him um, to talk about these um, pieces. So please join us and um, yeah, uh, Please go to our website uh, for more information on how to purchase tickets and we'll love to see you on September 20th.